I'm a liver transplant recipient of 19 years. And uh, here in Muskoka, I've set up a group called Muskoka Gift of Life Association. So it's a grassroots group uh, connected with Children Gift of Life Network. And the goal is to help raise awareness in Muskoka. I'm proud to say that Muskoka actually is very high in registration rates. Uh, the provincial average is at 29%. And the Muskoka average, if you take all the six districts, districts is about 45%. Um, with one of them at 50 and Bracebridge at 49. So we're, we're really good, but compared to like who's leading right now in Sudbury, but we know, we all know that we can do better, that we can get those rates up higher. And the more we talk about it and the more we share our stories, the more people that we can get registered. What I'm here to do besides talk about organ tissue donation, I would like to present Yvonne who has been, you know, since I met her about what, almost less than a year mm -hmm. since June, um, really doing the message herself of promoting organ and tissue donations. So Trillium Gift of Life came out with this year's um, Community Champion Awards. And I think that you're a community champion Yay. as well. And I'd like to present you with the Trillium Gift of Life Community Champion Award. Yay. So there Thank you go. Thank you so much. And you much. can open it up and it has your name yes. in it. Well, Sandra and I met because I had written my book, Love Your Life to Death, and I was exploring, you know, our death phobic society and how we don't talk about plan and prepare for end of life long before we're facing it. So, of course, part of a very big part of that is the fact that if you leave, uh, if you leave organ donation thinking about it to the, at the end of life or in a crisis or a trauma, as I've seen only too many times as a nurse in the emergency room. I've even seen it at hospice where people haven't had those conversations. And so it's very painful to, you know, you're grieving and you're thinking about these things. So I wanted to, when I did the Coach Co TV series, I thought wouldn't it be wonderful to have someone talk about the importance of organ donation and the fact that if we talk about it long before we are facing having to make that decision, you know, it's, it's, easier for everyone and so empowering. I was always afraid of dying and um, until I found myself at Toronto Hospital the night before my transplant and I realized that if I wasn't going to get this transplant because sometimes in situation it doesn't always take place that there was a real good chance that I could die and I came to peace with that that night and unfortunately because of lack of organ donors in Ontario I've lost many friends on the list I've lost many friends who had to wait too long for their organs and transplants. So um, I still don't like death um, and I'm still trying to fight it because, you know, organ and tissue donation is successful. It works. I'm 19 years out. I have friends who've had their kidneys for over 40 years and a liver transplant for almost 35. I empowered my own self in my life by, of course, I am an organ donor. I feel very passionate about it. But I talked to my 22 year old son and I said, this is why this is important to me. I want you to make that decision. So we've done the, this long before we are facing it and we never have to have that conversation again. And how extraordinary to do that before we are facing that decision. And what we want to do is we want to encourage you to take two minutes because that's all it takes to go to beadonor.ca and in Muskoka, if you do slash M-G-O-L-A, so for Muskoka Gift of Life Association, and just check to see, most likely you, you might have been registered already because um, now it's on your health card and you can check your health card to see if it's there, but it just takes two minutes and we encourage everyone to go to beadonor.ca slash M-G-O-L-A.